Hi, Nikki. Thank you for having me. Pleasure, Kate. It's lovely to be here. So tell me a little bit about the history of Falston Barnes and why you came to buy this place. We moved here um, quite some time ago, 15 years, and it was always our intention to turn these disused barns into luxury holiday accommodation. Fantastic. And then you had the idea to create some shepherd's huts down at the bottom of the garden. Tell me about that. Yes, we did. Yes, absolutely. And down at the bottom of the garden it is, overlooking 38 acres and the beautiful uh, River Tyne. We decided that we wanted to reveal the best of nature, but also have lots of comforts inside. Should we go and have a look at my hut? I think that would be a great idea. Let's do it. Okay. Morning, Kate. Thank you. Here's your posh hut for oh the night. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's so cosy in here. Just checked into my shepherd's hut and I absolutely love what Nikki's done with the place. It's so cute. She's got a little wood burning stove in there. There's like a king size bed. There's a little kitchen. It's got all your little pots and pans. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I've loved being a guest, but what have you got planned for me tomorrow? Ah, so this is where the real work starts. So I'm going to be getting you to turn down rooms, uh, to work alongside uh, Helen, who's one of our team members. We run a very tight ship here. She needs to make sure that all of her equipment is ready, all of the matching sets of bed linen are correct, and just to make sure that basically that checklist has gone through correctly and she turns out an excellent uh, product. So Nikki's got really high standards for this place and she keeps telling me that her guests are expecting five star quality so I hope that I'm going to be up to the job and I've been given this, uh, this rather fetching uniform to wear while I do it all so I'll definitely look the part. Okay Helen, so we're making the beds in the shepherd's huts. How many of these kind of beds do you make every day? We've only got two, two shepherd's huts, but yeah. the rest, if we've got the full change, it's up to, up to 20 beds. We've got the farmhouse as well and the four, the other four units. That's a lot. Yes. And what are some of the challenges when you're servicing a, a room like this? Well, it's, it's um, obviously the tight space you can't find in the shepherd's hut, obviously. And then people not checking out on time, so you've got to be, you're coming in a little late if you've got early check-ins. Okay. So you have to sort of keep an eye on that and sort of watch who's early check-in and make sure you do those ones first and yeah. there's no problems and you can get people in on time. Great, okay, let's have a go at making okay. the bed. My site doesn't look very neat. <laughs> this is hard work. It is hard work, yes. But you get used to it. What do you do about this bit? It, it tucks down the side of the, on the edge. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pillows. I thought it was pretty clean, but um, Helen came and looked at it and told me we had missed a few spots. So there's a lot more to think about than you realise. It's like getting in every nook and cranny, um, invisible dust that you just wouldn't normally see. So yeah, it's a lot to do. We've got um, some new guests who are new to glamping and they have requested a breakfast hamper. Ooh, okay, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm putting together a breakfast hamper for some of Nikki's guests. It's a special request, so um, you've got to get it right. I really like Kate's enthusiasm. I really like Kate's drive. Um, she clearly sees what we're about here, and I think she's worked so hard to achieve those objectives. I certainly think Kate has a glowing career ahead of her in hospitality, most certainly. These guys have really taken glamping to the next level, um, but it's hard work running them as well. They make it look really easy, but there's lots of little touches. Overall, I thought it was a fantastic experience and I'll definitely come back and check it out again.